this is the clear picture earlier today in Kirigiti, Kiambu County. A seven-story building collapsed, claiming the lives of five people. <laughs> Six of the injured are receiving treatment at Kiambu County Referral Hospital. Kiambu Governor Kimani Wamatange has to this end assured residents that they will work with the intelligence officials to inspect all buildings in the county to ensure there will be no such incidents. Kwa bahati mbaya, wale tuliweza kuokoa, tumepoteza watoto wawili na pia tumepoteza mama mmoja. So kuna mama na watoto wake wawili huyo ameaga tuko na wawili wenye wako sawa tuko na mmoja mwenye haku ameumia sana e, na hivi vile tunaviongea sasa hawa wawili wengine wako upande wa ICU lakini tunatarajia kwamba kwa majaliwa yake Mungu e, watakuwa sawa sawa tumeagiza DCI officers waanze kuchunguzi mara moja Waanza kutafuta the ile contractor alikuwa anafanya kazi na mwenye nyumba mwenyewe. Tuweze ku wa prosecute. Kwa sababu ni makosa yao. Kama sio makosa yao, hatungekuwa na ile shida tuko nayo sasa. The country's board of engineers however noted that those who led the construction of the building were not qualified to undertake the works. Jamba tu watu yetu watu kama ule engineer kwa pale kwa ofisi ya governor akue anaangalia zaidi na pia ule anajenga ndioba pia yeye ajue kwamba lazima afuate ile ile mjengo inasema ile structural drawings Rescue operations are still underway led by KDF troops amid fears that more bodies could be found inside This comes even as Mokowe Lamu County police are investigating an incident where a woman died after building collapse the disease met her death while she was asleep Two others who were rescued from the incident are currently receiving treatment. Yeye ndio zimesha ndugu zake kuna huyu toa toa hapa ndio unsomesha kwa school kule huko hii basari na lipwa haitoshi yeye ndio mwenye kusaidia. Na tunawapa pole sana ile familia ambayo ndio hasa sisi sote umetugusa kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe ni mwalimu wa madrasa na huyu alikuwa anafanya aliyofariki ni mmoja katika walimu wa madrasa. Yeye alikuwa anafundisha shule na anafundisha pia madrasa kwa sababu pale madrasa ni kwao kabisa. All eyes are now on the National Construction Authority to take its rightful responsibility and hold accountable all those constructing houses without following the laid down protocols. <laughs> Faith Anyula, K24 TV.